Hello and welcome to Anthology Hoxton Press. Last time I gave you an update on how Waits, our construction partner, were progressing the towers mono and duo. And I'm delighted today that we can take you out onto site and look at how that construction has progressed over the last six months. We've undertaken dry lining works on the lower floors of Duo Tower and Mono Tower. The dry lining creates a division between the apartments. Once those walls are up, we progress with the internal fit-out works. And within this apartment, we can see the underfloor pipework laid out below me, and that will create the heating in the finished home. Here we are on level one of Duo Tower. This is where we find our most advanced apartments. The drywall is up, and the M&E insulation is almost complete. The orange pipework is the sprinkler system which provides the fire safety system to each home. Beside me here is a bathroom pod. These are built in a factory in Hull and then delivered down to site and lifted into position by the tower crane. Once we've positioned them on the slab, we build the walls around them and we have a finished bathroom that was built in a clean, sterile environment without any of the site activities going on around them. This ensures that we can have the best quality possible within our homes. Also on this floor, you can see the windows that have been installed. And then above me on the soffits, you can see the mechanical ventilation, which give the air changes within the apartments. Up here on the 11th floor of Duo Tower, you can see behind me the magnificent skyline of central London. The views from Hoxton Press stretch from the west of the BT Tower through the central parts of the city of London then past Canary Wharf and out to the east in the Olympic Stadium in Stratford. To the north, a surprising amount of greenery for somewhere so central as Hoxton Press. The current construction activities are up to level 14, which means there's only two more floors to get to the topping out. Over on Mono Tower, they're at level 13, with seven floors still to go and will be finished on that tower by Christmas this year. Externally, the brickwork has progressed nicely up Duo Tower, and internally on the balconies, the intricate detailing is well underway. At Anthology, the community matters, and we've undertaken a number of initiatives in the last six months to further our relationships. We donated a number of high-vis vests to Shoreditch Park Primary School, and that was to coincide with the Walk Into School Week. We've also installed this little library that sits behind me, and that is acting as a book exchange for local residents. Finally, we did our second big lunch on Shoreditch Park during the summer. It felt like, you know, a summer fest, and that was really, really lovely. I think it's a very good event. You know, it's brought everybody out, and it's a nice little get-together. You've got families coming from all over. It's, it's brilliant, it's really good, nice to see everyone smiling. That was in conjunction with our partners who are helping regenerate the Colville Estate, Higgins Construction. They've significantly progressed the phase two works over the last six months, and you can see the concrete frame has grown out of the ground. They work towards the completion of phase two, towards the back end of 2018, early 2019. The next stage of the process, which will commence in early 2018, will be the commissioning. And this is where we turn on the power, the water, and the heating. Those activities will be concluding the internal fit out of the apartments. While on the outside of the building, weights will be progressing the brickwork right up to the top to ensure that it's completed in time for occupation. Next time, I'll talk to you from one of our finished apartments in Duo. I'll also give you an update on the progress we've made with Mono Tower. In the meantime, if you've got any questions at all, then please use the contact details on the screen and one of our team will get back to you.